Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance and uh, we're working on some main story stuff right now. So um, we're looking at C right now. So ask Miller Simon. So we're asking after uh, the counterfeiters. So the crimps is kind of what they're called. <laughs> so let's talk to this guy. Um, let's see, do we have anything that we need to sell? Because technically we can sell to this guy too. So, maybe let's also sell some of our extra things that we've got. Okay, we've actually got quite a bit of stuff we can sell. God save. What? I've got some good. All right. Take care. Okay, we'll do this first. Okay, he's got thirteen thousand. Yeah, we should be fine then. I hate how sometimes it changes their order. Don't we have three on the horse, too? So technically we have all the dog skins we need, but I'll just... I'll be extra careful. Okay. Another 2,600. Let's have a word. Well... What about this? We're getting... I... All right, another three grand. All right, have you heard of anyone looking to recruit rough you men? Heard of any recruiters around here? Have you? People looking for armed men? Perhaps, but I'll not speak of it now. Why not? It's important. Because we're in the middle of something. Come on, nothing bad will happen if you talk to me. Perhaps not, but I'll tell you when we're done. My memory will be sharper then. Right. Christ, it's like pulling teeth with you. I hope you're more generous with your Grosham than your words. We're in the middle of something? What does that even mean? I'm, I'm confused. I want... All right, but it'll... Oh, we're actually able to do that. Not quite a... We must have uh, recently hit 15. What? I'd... Oh. Agree. Now let's take... All right, there we go. Cool. All right, so apparently he was a waste of time, <laughs> but hey, we sold some stuff, so not a complete waste of time. Just when it comes to information, a waste of time. All right, so now I think we have, yeah, the brawlers. Crimp's meeting place, try to find out, and then we can take care of the brawlers, which happens in the evening, right? So the church at night, that's going to be B, I believe. So both things that we need to do are kind of in the evening. So in the evening, we can take care of the brawlers and then we already have the meeting place. So we may not even need to do this, but just in case it gives us more information, I think I'll do that one first. Is there anything else I can do in Sasau right now while we're waiting? Because we've got like half a day. Uh, map. There we go. We'll have this open. So, Rattled. Go and see Zack the Blacksmith for your reward.
That one's not too far away, but... Oh, we need to do other stuff first, though. I think we have to do all of this in order to finish Honeyed Words. Okay, we got a couple things in Ladechko. Get red deer liver for the Sasau Butcher. Oh, now that we can do um, offal, we can we can get some deer livers. So we'll actually be able to complete that one now where we couldn't before. We only recently got that ability. Yeah, lots of things in Ladechko. Okay. Lots of things in Ladechko. Steal the farmer's amulet from the herbalist. Okay, we got two things here. Let's go and see if we can do any of those during the day. Um, stealing things is usually a little bit more difficult, but... Yeah. Uh, let's just see what we can get done. I hope I can be of some... I'll come for my reward. Of course. And thanks again, lad. It's worked wonders for my trade. And will Otter sell you his business? I don't know. But the way things are looking now, his trade will soon be dead as a doornail anyway. I'm glad your trade is going well. Now, about our little deal... <laughs> we ah, already got the information we need. <laughs> I'd like to make you an offer. Have you heard about Pribis Lavitz? Oh, aye. I heard something about that. What of it? I'm bailiff there, and I'm rebuilding. We're planning to build an armorsmith's shop there. And you want me to run it? That'd be great. Come and see me when it's ready. God be with you. I'd like to make you... Have you heard about... Oh, I'm bailiff. We're planning to... And you want me to... Okay, we did- did we do the weaponsmith? So maybe that's not even a thing, actually. Okay. I can't remember- yeah, I think we ended up doing the weaponsmith, because I didn't realize at the time that it was one, it was one or the other. Um, let's see. You back here? What am I even doing for this? What is this quest? Steal the farmer's amulet from the herbalist. Ooh, if I have to... Okay, pickpocket, huh? Get out of the way, dog. This is already hard enough. Ugh, I don't even... I'm not very good Stop at doing that. this. Help! Arrest that thief! I didn't do it! Do I have anything stolen on me? I think I got rid of everything that was stolen. I'll try and talk my way out of it. <laughs> this is why I don't ever pickpocket. Ever. It's so hard. It's probably one of my lowest skills. Let's see. So like a bunch of these are like... Even hunting is 10. Bunch of 16s and 11. Pickpocket is 4. <laughs> Shouldn't have tried while he was walking. I struggle enough when they're holding still, so... Alright, well, the guards are gonna come after me, that's fine. I could do with something God grants you help. 
Can I? Hi. For how long? Just the one. Sure. Here you are. <laughs> Take care. All right. I think I'm going to rest until right as we approach evening. Okay, so it looks like we did get reported. So we'll probably have to deal with that here. You there, stop! Surrender! We're Boy, under arrest for breaking the law! Hey, you! Halt! Someone saw... You should have thought twice about what you... Just my luck. <laughs> Look, I can't tell you anymore. Well, I thought... That is, I had no idea. Damn right. Leave me be. Yeah. I'm guessing if you're wanted for more heinous crimes, it probably gets more difficult. Probably depends on, like, how much you're wanted for. So those ones would probably be pretty easy for me most of the time at this point. Hey, new perk in horsemanship. Okay, what do we got here? A horse will never throw you outside of combat. Uh, I don't think I've ever been thrown... Other than when I've crashed. <laughs> you get a 15% damage bonus in mounted combat with both range and melee weapons. Your horse will be extremely skittish in storm. Let's just take night. We don't do it very often, but maybe we'll start. Start attacking people from horseback more often. What's up? You need oh. some help? Did you just say what's up? It's very modern parlance. <laughs> What's up? What's up, bro? Oh. What's up, bros? God's blessings. What can I do for you? I heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about that? Willing to do anything? Meaning what? Something filthy like helping the knacker? I wouldn't know. Go and ask someone else. Damn, That's bro, chill I'm out. All right. What happened with the tanner? Nothing out of the ordinary. He came to test his metal like everyone, but he couldn't even get past young weed. Then he started whining about getting his money back because we tricked him, so we threw him out. He came back a few times after that complaining about all the shouting, Ordered us to bugger off elsewhere. But you didn't. No. And when he got really annoying, he got a punch in the mouth. And he hasn't been back since. Doesn't dare to. But it didn't shut that big mouth of his. Okay. <coughs> Greetings, good night. I've heard that someone's looking for men, Will. If I knew you better. What went on with the tanner? When things got lively, I wasn't here. Farewell. 
My respects to you. I heard someone was looking for men willing to do anything. Maybe. I work in the quarry, and they're always looking for extra hands to replace them that's got something broken. Uh, that's not what I meant, but thanks. Why did you thrash the tanner? Because he came by one day, lost his money, and then started on about how we cheated him and ought to give him back his coin. He was a right pest. He told me that you jumped him when he asked you to stop making a racket behind his house. Well, that's sort of true. But he didn't start complaining until he lost his money. Before that, it didn't bother him. Farewell. God's blessings. I heard that someone was looking... No, but I'm always the last to hear of anything like that. I'll ask Punch. I heard you gave him... It's his own damn fault. Really? He just came to tell you to go elsewhere. That's what he told you? Bollocks! He came of his own accord. It was him started the fuss, after he'd lost all his money. He really tried to have a go. I wouldn't think he'd have it in him. He tried, but he didn't have much luck. He does pack a punch. But landing it in the right place, ha! I'm not surprised he's got no children. May the Lord watch over you. I'm looking for work, and I've heard someone around here wants fearless men. Do you know anything about it? Hmm. I've heard they might be looking for a new knacker. So if you're not afraid of carcasses and the occasional pile of shite... Thanks, but no thanks. Word has it someone's hiring mercenaries and other fighters. Ah, well, you've heard more than I. Ken? The tanner sent me. He says you've been causing a commotion at night, and I thought I might convince you to stop. Ha! <laughs> so all his whining finally found a friendly ear, did it? Let me tell you something first, whelp. Don't call I'm me a whelp. I'm the bailiff's man, and we're not doing anything wrong here. Old Letterman's only been whining like that since he lost a bit of silver. Didn't bother him before that. He told me different. Ha! <laughs> of course he did. Otherwise, no one would help him. Go ahead and ask the lads. They'll tell you the same. It's God's honest truth. I'll take you at your word. But what should I do now? The way I see it, you've got two choices. Screw that old liar and leave him be or get down to business. What's the difference between fuck the tanner and double cross the tanner? Or there's a third possibility. What would that be? We put one over on that pinch, Penny. I'll tell him I've taken care of everything, and you and your friends don't show up here for a few days. I'll get a reward, and we can split it. And then you can Cold hearted. Come back it's practically free money. <laughs> I like the sound of that tune. The devil take the tanner. We'll hole up somewhere else for a few days, and you come and see us once you've got the coin. All right? What are you doing here? Nothing special. Just a little evening wrestling. It's good for your back and digestion. And your purse too, if you know your business. If I wanted to join in, what would I have to do? It's pretty simple. First you have to beat Weed. He's that not too dangerous looking fella there. But some nights, he gets a good rest and he's got God on his side. Then you can try one of those three. Doesn't matter which. And if you whip all three, you can test your metal against me. Fair enough. So the last match is with you. That's right. They say a bout with me is no joke. Just bad humours. <laughs> I want to fight you. What did I tell? <laughs> Just immediately. No, I want to want to fight you, bro. All right, so we start with weed. Sorry about your nickname, bro. Let's do it. Let's go. God be with you. Ah! I just keep going. Alright, this time we're in front of people, so I'm not gonna rob the dude blind. Alright, who's next? Let's fight! Let's fight! That wasn't bad, but now we'll take it up a notch. Good luck then. <laughs> <laughs> the 
They're all just gonna be in here knocked out. One after the other. Let's fight. That wasn't bad. Take care. Oh, this is hilarious. You actually have to swing at me, bro. <laughs> All right, you're next. Let's go, bro. Let's fight. You look pretty good. We'll see. May the Lord watch over. <laughs> As your friends are like dying. <laughs> I've got enough stamina to just keep going, bro. All right, you're next. I want to fight you. You put on quite a show. God be with you. Oh, somebody actually got a swing in. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh. All right, got my Groshin. All right, did that unequip my weapons? Let's make sure that we get those re equipped. If so, also, let's see. Hi. Are they in here? No. No, I guess that is where they are. Maybe we need to interact with something to meet with them. Or maybe we missed it? Maybe it needs to be right at evening, I don't know. Use? Oh, here we go. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Kingdom come, they said it. Deliver me. From evil. So, you've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Well, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that. But he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. You won't go wrong with me. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight. But not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? Nah. Not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Who's Pius? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. 
But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. I'll have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys? It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Well, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister, or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest, but it didn't quite work out. Okay. It's getting complicated, huh? And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? You'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. Murder someone in a monastery? Have you gone mad? <laughs> Murder's a sin as it is. Doesn't really matter where you do it. Yes, it does. <laughs> I'd be spilling blood on hallowed ground. <laughs> well then. Knock him senseless, drag him outside, and finish him off where it's less sacred. I don't give a damn where you do it, just as long as he ends up dead. And do you have any other test? We're not hiring stable boys. We want men who are prepared to do anything. And this is the toughest task we've got. So how many men have you already sent? Yeah, just a handful. <laughs> and what happened to them? Did they hang? Ah, just the first one. <laughs> the others turned tail. Guess they didn't have the stomach for it. How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well dressed and had a fine looking dagger. A fine looking yes, dagger, okay. The rope and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk, then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> Where better? There's more wine there than in the royal cellars, and I doubt he suddenly stopped drinking. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. Simple, the main thing is the right? Clean, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money, and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Simple. Yeah. That's the idea. <laughs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm going to need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to run off, all right? Goodbye. What did that guy think his arrow was going to do? I'm wearing full plate, bro.
Ooh, vitality. Getting perks today. They're getting fewer and further between, so... Your health will regenerate gradually. Does not apply during combat. That might be good. Dispel hunger with anything. You won't suffer from eating poisoned or spoiled food, but neither will you have any positive effects from it. Does not apply to alcohol. If you don't either overeat or go hungry for five consecutive days, you get a plus one bonus on vitality and agility. Eh, who cares? Let's take Revenant. Yeah, I kind of figured the brawler thing would end, but I didn't want to wait another day. We would have gotten maybe a little extra money from the guy by double-crossing him, but who cares? Poverty, chastity, and obedience. Oh, I should have just gotten the lock-picking points, huh? Hey, pubbers. Look what I've got for your love. That's my boy. Every once in a while when I'm petting my dog Winston, I'll say, that's my boy. Just like that. <laughs> I think this, yeah, this goes up to that balcony. Robbing the church. Hey, lock picking, nice. Hmm, this one's got a star. I wonder what this one does. And we can sell the other book. Gotcha, that's just one that we haven't read yet. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so our goals now are to try and figure out how to get into the monastery. This is the quest that, uh, the main quest that I stopped on when I played the original game. I never, I never got into the, uh, monastery. So, basically all main story stuff from here on out is going to be new for me, I think. Okay, we're going to want to talk to Sir Radzig first, I feel like. Before we go too far into this, so. I think that's what we'll do. Since we have a room tonight, um, we'll sleep for a couple hours. Maybe not through the entire night, but for a couple hours. And then we'll head to Radzig. Just however many hours it takes to get our full energy back, I think. Yeah. Oh, our energy's fine. Yeah, I guess we slept a couple hours not too long ago. Um, yeah, let's just get a save then. We'll do one hour.
Oh, I only need one dog skin? I thought I needed three for some reason. Okay. Assassin, eh? The old woman sets a fucking assassin on. Well, I'll kick his arse. Um, I think you got the wrong idea, bro. Christ! Well landed. Good damn. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Is that the Way best off. you can do? Okay, well, this is awkward. You'll get what for. Where could you vanish? That's why that wasn't working. They unequipped it. Come on, pull out your bow, dude. What is your problem? <laughs> Is that all you've got? <laughs> Come here. Oh. Uh, what have we got here? Entertainment. Great. Bring it on. Free bow experience. Uh. They set up a snare, and then decided that I was an assassin sent to kill him. Sure, bro. It's your death. You chose this. This is your own fault. Hey. Put our axe away. Our bloodied axe. Okay, I think there's a cook pot somewhere over here. Nice, I love rain stew. Community rain stew. Alright, I may as well just rest until day. And then we'll go and talk to Sir Radzig. You got this game. You got this. You know, playing this right now is honestly getting me so excited for the second one. I really am very hyped for the second game. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> I was getting worried. <laughs> I was like, this is taking a long time. Okay, and another, another loading screen. We're, we're good, we're good. Game will figure it out. We'll get there. This is reminding me of, like, freaking Morrowind on Xbox. Man, by the time you got to the end of that game, there were so many things that it had to remember and, like, load and save that, like, saving and loading took so long on the Xbox.
There's our boy. Let's go get him. <clears throat> God be with you, Henry. So, this investigation into the Neuhoff massacre... It's getting a bit complicated. What have you found out? I tracked down a gang of robbers who recruited killers for Pribislavitz. They know the Horsons who torched Neuhoff. That's excellent news. Did you find out any more? So far, not much. If I'm going to infiltrate them, I have to do what they say. That means murdering one of their former cronies, a fellow they call Pius. Apparently he was at Neuhoff too. You have to kill a criminal to prove yourself to them? Huh. I don't much like the sound of it. That's not the worst of it. This Pius is hiding out in the monastery pretending to be a novice. I'd have to get inside the cloisters to get at him. <laughs> Good God above, that's another matter entirely. They don't let just anyone into the cloisters, and the abbot won't give up any of the novices. Secular law has no jurisdiction inside the monastery. But this is the second time that something untoward has happened there. First the counterfeiters, now this. I'd be glad to have someone take a look inside. It seems like the only way to find Pius is to join the Order. Damned if I know how, though. A bit of meditation and learning would do you good. <laughs> if it's really the only way to get to him, then you'll have to do it. I'm sorry I can't be of much help. Sadly, my relations with the monastery aren't entirely congenial. You'll have to figure something out for yourself. What should I do with Pius once I find him? Don't kill him. Bring him to the bailiff in Rate. He'll interrogate the man and give him a fair trial. Fair Doesn't enough. sound like an easy task, sir. Getting into the cloisters, finding Pius, and then getting him to the bailiff. Far from it, lad. But I have confidence in your abilities. Glad someone does. Alright. Well, we've got his go-ahead. Okay, time to figure out if we can infiltrate, huh? I'm in no major rush. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna work on Axe a little bit here. We'll do it completely armed, um, that way it'll end at a certain point without me having to surrender. And just whenever that's done, we'll move on. I'd like to- A bit. Another one. Some sage. Let's fight then. I'll try the act. And I'll take- Right. Dodge, bro. Yeah. Oh. 
Giving up already? Come at me, bro. Got him. All right. Yeah. Hey, hey, Oma. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? Okay, we'll start asking around. You wouldn't be Carl by any chance. No. Good luck then. You are not here a second ago, is it you? <laughs> I'm honored that a knight such as you... You wouldn't be Carl by any chance. No. See you later. Okay, you're the innkeeper, right? Yeah. Excuse me? That's right. Let's go. <laughs> Just immediately in for it. It's Carl. Um, ignore that. I want to become a yeah. monk. <laughs> My respects to you. I'm going to be like, I want to be a monk. Teach me how. After I just beat up that guy right in front of him. Are you Carl by any chance? I am. Why do you ask? Call me one. I've heard that you're bound for the monastery. Yes. Yes, it's true. But I've convinced my faithful guardian, Manfred, to give me a few more days of freedom. Mind you. He won't let me visit the brothel, so instead I'm devoting those days to the demon drink. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Henry. Pleased to meet you, Henry. Let's have a drink. A man after my own heart. The drink's on me. And will my guardian angel here join us in imbibing? 
No, he will not. Perish the thought. My dear, dear lad, what a cross I have to bear. You know, after the tavern, we should pay a visit to some whores. <laughs> but Manfred won't let me. Get rid of him. Good luck, then. Certainly. I'll hey, yo, Manfred, right out. get out of here. Jesus Christ be praised. I, I'll be back. You're Manfred, the young lord's guardian. Indeed I am. Why? You must have a mighty thirst. Waiting here with him for days, just watching him get drunk, and not having a sip yourself. There's no doubt I'd enjoy a drink. Heaven knows I deserve it. But if I dull my senses in the slightest, that rogue will surely get up to mischief. So let's drink together. And if you start to feel unwell, I'll keep an eye on him. Like you said, you deserve some fun. I can see you're a reliable lad. So what shall we have to drink? And while we're at it, why not have a little game? I'll see you later. Okay, we're gonna play dice. He doesn't know that I have... Cheater's die. Your fame precedes you. You won't get the better of me. Oh, I have good dice, I will. <laughs> Ooh, that's risky, dude. What are you doing? Oh, no. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, the odds were not in your favor, my man. Oh wow! Okay, full sweep That's there. Not bad. That's all. No, he almost caught up too. He had a good round. Ale as usual. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. You're not in my shoes. Use your head, man. You'll lose everything. <laughs> As you wish. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. Did I ask? Because I just got all ones, bro. <laughs> 4,000. I could even roll again just to add insult injury. Sucra. I'm not gonna. Can't believe it. I'm a cheater. What can I say? One beer for me. New level in speech. Ale for me. Manfred's taken care of, just as you wanted. Thank God. He won't let me out of his sight for a second, and he's itching to get me in the monastery so he can head back home. Why are you being sent to the monastery? Like every lusty young lad, I'm fond of fair maidens, well, but I'm not <laughs> too fond of one, and let's just say she was um indisposed for nine months. Oh. Well, the next sentence to the monastery for that. They do when it's the daughter of the Lord of your feet. Shit. Oh. Shit is putting it mildly. The Lord of Bukova was less than pleased. He knows he'll never marry off his daughter now, so he gave father a choice. Either pay him 1,000 groschen in compensation, along with my balls on a silver platter. Jesus. Or pay 1,000 groschen and put me away somewhere no one will ever see me again. Brutal, dude. Keep it in your pants. Keep it in your pants when you're, uh, with the, uh, the Lord's daughter, huh? Why does your guardian never leave your side? So I don't run away. Of course, I'm free to walk around, but he watches every step I take and won't stop until I'm behind the monastery walls. Well, he's not watching you now. 
What good is that to me when he has all the money, and even my saddle and riding cloak under lock and key? I can deal with that. Why don't you just run away? Fair asked. What the hell would I do? I don't know how to work, I have no money, and that old bastard's even taken my cloak. He has me in the palm of his hand. But there are poor people everywhere, and they get by somehow. If I have to choose between hunger and poverty on one hand and the monastic life on the other, I'm afraid the monastery wins. If I could only steal that old man's pouch, I'd be gone faster than lightning and no one would ever see me again. Okay, still the guardian's purse. Is it going to be in the room or is it going to be on his person? If it's on his person, we're going to struggle more. What if I entered the monastery instead of you? What? Voluntarily? You don't look like someone who'd want to spend the rest of his days on his knees praying. Well, that's your problem. You can only enter the monastery if you know how to read and write, and if you have a special writ from the abbot. That's a letter confirming they know who you are and that they've accepted you. So you give me your writ? I'll just tell them I'm you. Manfred has the writ. You'd have to take it from him, but he only puts it down when he sleeps. So I'll steal it and then you can disappear. Disappear? Bear asked. What the hell would I do? I don't know how to work, I have no money, and that old bastard's even taken my cloak. He has me in the palm of his hand. But there are poor people everywhere and they get by somehow. If I have to choose between hunger and poverty on one hand and the monastic life on the other... That's all then. Goodbye. Okay, so we need the writ and we need Bring to get him his stuff. Please. Steal the writ from the Guardian. Steal the Guardian's purse. There. Satisfied? Pull me an ale. Where did the Guardian go? I mean, yeah, we got rid of him, but where did he go? <laughs> Look out! All right, well, well, we'll have to wait until night anyway. I'm guessing you're in one of these rooms. Oh, is that him? Damn, it didn't even give me a chance. Hmm. Maybe I have to do it at night, because I'm, I'm guessing that he takes the writ off of his person, like they said. So I wonder if I literally cannot pickpocket him, because it's not even giving me a chance. Oh, there we go. Never mind. We just are bad at it. And I'm guessing it's really hard to pickpocket off of this guy. This is not a skill we've cultivated very well. Unfortunately, I think we need the other thing, too. Okay. I'm at your service, sir, knight. I've got what you need. 
Excellent. Give me the purse. You can do as you like with the ring. <laughs> Here's half the purse. I'm such a bastard. What about the rest? I'm keeping it for my efforts. Well, I can't say that seems fair to me, but what can I do? You're damn right, you can't do shit. Ale is <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go with the writ to the monastery porter. Let's see, how are we doing on food? We're fine on food. Oh. Don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. Yeah. Alright. We ready to, uh, start the monastic life? We're becoming a monk. Oh, that was a bad call. <laughs> well done. Well done, developers. Oh, that would hurt so bad. That would hurt. So bad. All right. Well, this is where I'm going to end this episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one where we, where we become a monk. Bye, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters. Darren York, ZTD, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado101, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, Kato Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, Emily Kuzanova, Philip Doughty, Timothy Jansen, Skip, Naya, Turkeyfoot27, Dean Curry, Nathan McComb, Sefta, DWJ Media, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.